this video, we're going to cover how to perform a search based on a search value in a single column with Google Apps Script. And I wanted to do this a different way and not use a for loop. So you can see here, I have a data set of employee records. First column is employee ID. We have name, gender, department, status, and hire date. This is on the second sheet called records. On this first sheet called search, I have a form and based on whatever value is keyed in here for the employee ID, we want to perform a search of this first column to find that where that employee ID number is located, get that row and then pull back all the records from each of the columns in that row into these cells here. So the first thing we want to do is get into the app script editor window. So I'm going to go to extensions and then app script. Now to save time here, I've already created some code and I'm just going to quickly drop it in here and run through it. So we have a function called search by column. The first variable is called SS. It represents the active spreadsheet we're in now. So we reference the spreadsheet application and then get active spreadsheet. We then have two sheet variables, one called search sheet, one called record sheet that holds each of our two sheets in the variables. We have a variable called search value. This is a reference to our search sheet and then get range C3 and get that value because we want to get whatever value is input here to search on and store it in this variable. We have a an array variable called search column which is equal to all of the values in our first column here that contains the employee ID numbers that we want to perform the search on. So that is our record sheet. We want to get the range beginning in row one, column one. How many rows we want to go down is equal to the get last row method on the record sheet because that will return always the last row that contains values. And we want to look at just one single column, which is the first column, and we want to get those values and store them in this array variable. We then have a variable called row. And what this holds is the row number of where our search value is found in our search column. So we reference our search column which is the array of the employee ID numbers from the first column on the record sheet. It is, even though it's a single column, it is still a two dimensional array, meaning it's as of right now, 17 rows by one column. What we need to do is convert it to a one dimensional array. So we use the flat method. So that just makes it one single array of values separated by comma. We use the index of method and search on the search value variable, which is our employee ID number from the search tab. And what that does, the index of returns the position of where that's located within this array. So if we searched on this employee ID number in this one dimensional array that we created, that would be position nine because it starts at zero. So the header would be position zero and this would be position nine. So that's why we need to add one to that because we need to convert it back to from zero base to one based so that it returns the correct row number on our spreadsheet. So now we have the row number of where that's found on our spreadsheet. We then create a variable called record, which means the record we find based on our search value. So that's equal to our record sheet. We get range. We reference our row variable that tells us where the row number is. We want to begin in column one. We only want to go down one row because we're pulling back one single row at a time when we search. And we have six columns. We want to get the values 
of wherever that row may be and store those values in this record variable. So at that point we have our match of the row and the values from that row in this variable. At this point we want to write the values of this record array to our search sheet beginning in cell C5 all the way down to C13. So we reference our search sheet, get range C5. We want to set the value equal to our record array variable. Now this record array, even though it's one row, it's still a two-dimensional array. So the first bracket here after the record is our row reference, which there's only one single row. So that's row zero because it's zero based. And then we want to return the name because C5 is the employee name. So we reference column one because the column is also zero based in Abscript. So zero would be the employee ID number column. So we have a one there that gives us the employee name in that cell. We do a similar thing for all of these other cells, each going one column more staying on the same row because we have one row that's row zero and all of these different column references so i'm going to hit save here we'll run this and we currently have employee this employee id number so when i click run i'll need to authorize it so i'll click review permissions click on the google account we're using go to advanced, click on the project name, click allow. So that returns that employee, Gio Perez. If I go look, that is in fact that employee. I can put someone else in here. We'll go with this ID run this again pulls back Jennifer Sims if I go look at that employee ID that is in fact her well that is all for now thanks for watching please remember to subscribe